it's me, Mavis Freaking Meadows. Happy Good Friday morning. Well, when you're seeing this, it'll be Saturday. So, happy Saturday, y'all. Hope you're having a good day. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do check-ins with you this morning. Um, can you discuss my little bodybuilding update? And you'll get to see my bodybuilding poses. So, love y'all. Okay, so we're here. We're going to do our check-ins. I'm going to do at least two rounds just so I can get comfortable with my body and we'll see what the poses are looking like. And then obviously I'm able to compare them to last week. But yeah, let's let us begin. And this is also practice for me because I don't have a mirror in front of me. So I'm practicing without a mirror because when you're on stage, you obviously don't have a mirror to correct all your forms. So you have to be able to do it blind. Hold up, I'm also, um, the floor, my family lives under, and so I'm not trying to make too much noise, but I've, I have been working on my transitions, so don't you worry. The transitions are more smooth, I just need to be careful with the heels right now. Okay, that was good. I'm just gonna stand on the carpet here so I don't make too much noise. But yeah, I'm gonna set up my phone so I can look back on my phone right away on what the photos, the, um, the shape is looking like. Okay, so what you saw were my check-in photos or like check-in video. Again, um, I'm just going to go in and screenshot the, the photos because I'm only doing check-in photos right now. Um, eventually, I will be doing like transitions and stuff like that. And you'll, be, of course, you're going to be coming along that journey because I'm documenting everything here so I can look back on it um, and have kind of like a personal diary journal type video series. Anyways. Weight did not fluctuate, like I'm a, exactly the same as I was. I, ch I do my check-ins, uh, like my weight check-ins every Tuesday and Friday. So I didn't lose any weight since Tuesday, which is kind of good because I, I was on a little bit of a refeed this week. So it's kind of like good that I didn't gain any weight, didn't lose any weight. Um, you know, it's just stagnant, but that's fine. Um, I am happy with the shape that's coming along. I do feel leaner though since last week. So that's always a plus. Like that's always nice. Even though the weight, the, the, the scale doesn't say anything different. Like it's still like nice to notice that for yourself and notice that like the trusting the process and like the, it's working. Uh, yeah. So I was on a little bit of a food increase this week. Um, so I'm feeling a little bit better um, on the hunger side, like not too, too hungry because of that food increase. Um, but okay. So the 
cardio side. I told you in my last video that I was going to explain a little bit of cardio. Oh, the exposure is so high. Anyways, um, okay, so there's many different forms of cardio, right? So you have your, uh, what essentially what bodybuilders are trying to do is do low intensity steady state cardio, meaning keeping your heart rate in a low, like in a, um, shoot, I, I don't know the term again, I'm not a, I'm not a sports and exercise scientist, I'm a person who loves to work out, anyways, so keeping your heart rate between, like, um, just about, there's like, for heart rate, there's zones, so you have your resting zone, and there's like five zones, you're trying to keep it in zone two, so you can literally google, um, how to calculate my zone two, um, heart rate, and then, wearing like a Fitbit or Apple Watch, I just um, monitor my heart rate throughout whatever kind of cardio I'm doing and keep it between that range. Um, so I started out doing incline treadmill walking, but then I got so, my body got so used to that where I'd have to literally do it on 15 at like four speed for 30, 45 minutes to see anything. Hold up. Um, to, to, for there to be anything. So I switched into running. Um, I'm running at like five incline. Um, and I only needed like two, uh, 3.5 speed. Like, so not very fast at all uh, for it to get my heart rate up. But then after time, I, I, I st slowly started to have to increase the, um, the speed in order to get my heart rate in between those uh, those two numbers uh so then i switched to stairmaster so i started doing some stairmaster and incorporating that and in that got my heart rate up pretty quick but unfortunately i also got really good at that really quickly so i am just fluctuating between different types of cardio styles um in order to keep my heart rate up so i saw another um wellness youtuber that i follow called Julia Renee, I absolutely love her. Um, her coach has her doing um, kind of like a quick stunt at the beginning and then um, a longer duration of low intensity steady state cardio. So I tried to implement that um, for my last two cardio sessions and I actually really been liking it because what's, what's essentially happening is in the first 10 minutes, you're getting your heart rate up really, really high, like over that like low intensity, um, that zone two um, heart rate and then it stays relatively high at a lower speed afterwards for whatever however long you're choosing to do your cardio or your coach as you're doing your cardio but yeah so that's what I'm doing currently the, for the first 10 minutes of my run is a faster paced run getting my heart rate up for the first 10 minutes and then I can drop it back down and then I don't need to go so so fast for the rest of the 50 minutes so it's not too 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 bad um but yeah, uh, let me think. So checking photos, like I look, f like you saw, I did the second round on my phone. So I have those here that I can go through. Let me, again, I'm doing it without a mirror, right? So it's harder to tweak. The, for the longest time, my front pose was my best pose. And then I thought my side pose was my absolute worst pose, but I'm starting to think my, like my biggest thing to work on was my back pose. And I think that's because my, I wasn't seeing any, um, muscle definition back there. Uh, and I think that's because again, I wasn't lean enough. And so I just thought, oh my gosh, my back pose needs so much work. Like there's really nothing to show for it. Like, and it's just because I'm carrying a lot of body fat in my lower half um but now that I'm starting to get a little bit leaner you can start to see a little bit of lines to hopefully where that it'll be carved out more when I'm when I am leaner and to kind of see what the shape is looking like and I really like it I really like how that's coming in now I'm just more excited to keep getting leaner and so the muscles can show through but I have to be patient because 
getting lean too quickly is dangerous and I have to just trust the process and we're on this journey together so let's all just be a little bit patient but yeah I've been practicing my stomach vacuums more frequently just so I can because you always hear like that's super important to have stomach control on stage I'm just looking at the side pose again and then we got our back pose yeah like I'm really pleased with how that looks again I just the carving out of the lines I'm really excited for but anyways let me stop yapping about that because that's enough of that um but yeah food has been fine so I've been not too 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 hungry this week I'm going to readjust and see where we're going to go from here uh but I'm going to go do my cardio now and then add to the gym later and I'll film that either for YouTube or like a TikTok I haven't decided yet either way I'll just re-upload the the TikTok on YouTube shorts so you'll see it anyways um yeah I hope you train hard today get after it no days off you can do it I can do it and let's do this together my name is Mavis Meadows I'll see you again tomorrow